All right, folks. One more thing I, I didn't demonstrate. I showed earlier how to do a copy and paste, but I never showed you how to paste a blueprint that you've downloaded from the calculator website onto your save into a specific location using a foundation. And we're going to do that now. I have here the two modules of the compact coal setup. I'm going to add two more. So I've got this road here, just this run of foundation so I know where I need to be. Um, and then I'm going to go into the calculator here. And I ha this is this foundation earlier on when we were talk when we did our copy and paste and we pasted onto the foundation. Well, that's that foundation. And this is the spot I aligned it to here. And the next one will be down here. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to click on the import exporter blueprint and I'm going to drag in that blueprint file to here and I'm going to go OK and now all I have to do is right click on this foundation spawn around foundation paste 751 items and I just go submit and I'm just going to leave it like that. Submit. And bang. There it is. Now I'm going to move it down to the next spot. I know this is the location here that I want. So I'm going to select this position. And it's the Y. Is I'm just going to copy this Y coordinate. Now I locate the foundation here. Which is... Uh, it's going to be a bit hard to get to. So I may just use the slide sidebars to scroll everything down that I don't want to see until I get to what I need and I can just go update the foundation position and paste the Y coordinate there and then you can see it's moved down and something I haven't explained before because so far it's worked because it's been done the, the proper way, I suppose you could say, with my foundations. What is that? What am I trying to tell you here? It is the rotation of the foundation. If we look at our foundation position, you can see it's on a rotation of zero. This is very important when you paste the blueprints. And I know it's, I've, it's worked because this is how I've done it right from the start, but I need to explain it. So, for instance, if my foundation was pointing that way, so if we look at the foundation position, it's on 90. If I paste uh, spawn around now and paste my items and go submit, it's pasted them in the direction the foundation's facing. That's perhaps not what I needed. So that's why it's important to have the foundation at zero. It pastes it correctly in the right orientation. And one of the key things is, right from the very start, this blue color foundation was created by the calculator when I did the select everything and went add the foundation selection boundaries. So it actually made it simple for me. But you might have, because what I've done before is I've simply gone, okay, foundation to here and I run a road out to this spot here. I place the foundations myself. I may not use the boundaries and that might be pointing the wrong direction and then I paste it and I'll go, oh, now I'm going to go redo that. So a very important when you're pasting onto a foundation is to make sure that you're on a zero degrees. So if I make sure there, I can update the foundation position and it's on a zero. Spawn around. And now there we go. I've had I've added two more uh, of these to the calculator from a blueprint I've downloaded from the calculator website. Well, I made it, but you know what I mean. Thank you very much. Part nine demonstrates how you can paste a blueprint into the original location. 
This is different as you are not pasting onto an existing foundation.